Welcome everyone to another one of Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws of Podiatry. Very interesting case here. We have a young patient who has presented to our office um, for the first time, just to give everyone a little bit of the history. A uh, patient does suffer from hyperhidrosis, which is excessive sweating. I guess for many years, not only that, but um, he's been battling this problem for a very long time. He took the liberty about a month ago to go to one of these minute clinics, I guess, or I guess the Walgreens clinics. They recommended basically just some, uh, some Neosporin. Uh, I, I have mixed feelings about these urgent, you know, these urgent care centers or the, these clinics that are inside these pharmacies that basically they just recommend whatever. Uh, and then they send their, uh, these patients or these individuals on their way. Uh, I commend the patient for, for making the decision to come to whether to see us or if it wasn't us to seek medical care. I want to, uh, he, before we share the clinical presentation, the patient did notice that his foot was kind of puffy and he did realize that there was like you know, a little bit of malodor coming from the foot. And so I get, I suspect that's kind of like how it started, what the re, you know, the decision of him uh, getting to this clinic. And then finally, I guess, uh, he, he, he made the executive decision to finally seek uh, medical care. Let's take a look. So at first glance, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a whole lot's going on, right? I'll show you guys. I want everyone to take a look at this. Okay. The, there is, this is all raw. This is open. Not only that, look how, look how this, there's that indentation. Patient, can you please, there you go. Thank you. Look underneath, Caesar. That's all raw. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna clean it up a little bit very carefully. Right? You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's just probably very sensitive. You see now? There is malodor, and that's a combination of bacteria having a tea party. It's colonized. The reason why he has the puffiness is because there is there's infection. There's a combination of, until proven otherwise, sorry, fungal, bacterial. Now, I want you to, I want everyone to take a look at the second toe now. Look at this here. He's got a pyogenic granuloma. He's got an ulcer that's open here. So, you know, everything is just, you know, there's a lot of desquamation. But not only there, 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 and here. Take a look at in there on the fifth toe. It should be all the way back there. There's an area that's open. There you go. Let's go ahead and try to, I'm so sorry. Just trying to clean it out very softly here. Just like that. There's a lot of maceration, okay? But this is, uh, just like I told the patient, very, very fortunate to come to come in today because, you know, um, if, th if this were to get worse, straight to the hospital. Um, in addition, you know, everyone can see there's a lot of, even on the medial and lateral aspect, there's a lot of severe dryness, scaliness. Um, there's probably, like I said before, a combination of a fungus, what we call tinea pedis, whether, again, bacterial infection and also a fungal infection. We have a lot of work ahead, but this is, not, this is nothing new. The patient has been battling this for a very long time. 
Um, and again, the same thing here, right? All of this, all of this, all of this. And then in between here and the fifth toe, right? As well, to a lesser extent. But this is, uh, you know, if uh, we, we already performed shave biopsies on the dermatological manifestation of the skin, we're going to go ahead and really, really put a full core press on the, uh, excuse me, on the local wound care. So we're going to implement a lot of, uh, you know, local wound care, make sure we keep everything dry let everything heal we're going to give the patient some um, some antibiotics uh, really really important you know culture of the area the the whole enchilada um, you know when I when I see these 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 dermatological manifestations ulcers and whatnot you know we already you know we we treat them aggressively at the beginning and depending on progress sometimes you even have to biopsy the lesion just to make sure that they, you know it's nothing else but but this is a, a very interesting case. I think a lot of people were late to this uh, video uh, because a lot of people, you know, they suffer from the, you know, what we call interdigital web space maceration. Uh, this is a, I would say this is a severe case, right? Where the, the skin has already broken down. And, and again, it's just, you know, really raw. And, and, and the patient is in pain. A lot of pain, he, you know, the patient is, it, it's affecting his daily life activities. And then this is nothing like, it, it hasn't been a week, it's been months. So I will definitely keep everyone afloat on this patient's progress. Um, for all the viewers, remember, ding, ding. Make sure that you give us, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a, a like, uh, leave some comments. I will definitely try to get to every single one of them. Uh, Caesar, what else? I don't know. That's it? I think so. Okay, cool. And of course, make sure that your notification uh, is on. Okay, so then uh, everyone can get their, their notifications when we upload these videos. We will continue to educate the world one foot at a time. No question. Have a wonderful day, everyone.